Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to this beautiful video. I'm so excited that you're here. I honor you for creating the space and time to be here, to have this beautiful practice in your life. It is not always easy, and so I'm just honoring you for whatever hurdles you pushed through, jumped over, and cleared so that you could create this space this morning. So welcome, welcome to this beautiful practice of God is my business plan, a space where we learn how to open up our hearts to receive from the divine, work with our spiritual team, allow God to guide your work, make a massive difference in the world, and also really take care of yourself, take care of your nervous system, take care of your body, listen to your heart, and uh, open up to receive. So today, we're gonna start out this surprise video why do I call it a surprise? Because it's a surprise to me. My brain is actually over here trying to figure out what am I going to do today? And then I have to tell my brain, like, stop. Like, that's not how we do this. Like, you're really great and I love you, brain, but that's not the place that we're playing. I'm going to open up to receive and it's always going to work out. But my brain loves to try and figure it out. So if you're like that, know that this is just part of being human. Our brain wants to know what's going to happen, especially when we're making a video, we're going to put it on YouTube. What am I going to do? The brain wants to know. It wants to feel safe. But the truth is, is that when you learn how to receive, that's the deepest form of safety because you're gonna create exactly what needs to be created, not what you think you are gonna create. So today, we shall see. We shall see what today is. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to feel into the sound for today. So I'm looking at all my sound. I've got my drums, I've got my bowls, we can chant. Um, the reason why we start with sound is because it actually recalibrates your nervous system. So it's the best way to start and finish a day is with sound. So let me just listen. It feels like, I mean, this bowl, we, we finished last night. We did this bowl last night and it just, it feels like it's the sound. So let me find my beautiful. What I want you to do is I want you to take a nice deep breath in, allowing the sound to move through your body, allowing the sound to recalibrate you. So if you're tired, let the sound wake up your energy. If you're feeling overwhelmed, let the sound ease it so that you feel at ease, at peace, okay? If you are feeling stuck, let the sound break it up like it breaks up barricades. Let it break up the stuckness inside of your body so that you may have movement and so that you may have a beautiful, wonderful results today. I keep hearing um, something about uh, creating the impossible to be possible. So maybe that's what we do today. But if anything, let's let that be our intention with the sound. So take a nice deep breath in. If you hum along, it vibrates better in your body. Just notice your body, how different it feels. We're going to start with a sacred creative process. So I want you to place your oil on your hands. 
This is the process I teach all the creators I work with, the authors, the entrepreneurs. This is a process that allows your brain to help you trigger into flow state and receiving. So you're gonna breathe this in. And you're gonna breathe out. One more, breathing a smell into your brain. Allowing your brain to know that you are going to be receiving. We're going to picture this beautiful divine light above the top of your head. You're gonna breathe it in and you're gonna let it move through the cells of your body, cleaning, cleansing, clearing the space within, above, around, below, beneath, outside of you and inside of you. Cleaning off any resistance that you have to miracles, cleaning off any resistance that you have to receiving from God, cleaning out any resistance that you have from working with your angels. Breathe the light in. Now we're gonna wake up your energy. We're gonna wake up your gifts, your gifts of seeing, hearing, feeling, knowing that they'll be brought all the way to the surface and into the divine light to support us, to lead us, to help you receive today with ease. We're gonna place a beautiful shield of light around you sealing it up at your toes so beautiful shield seal it up to be an added form of protection and to infuse and insulate you with light we're going to then call in all of our angels our guides our, our board of directors who do you want on your board of directors so i'm going to call in joan of arc today for my board of directors wayne dyer has been showing up a lot in my um in my heart and in my mind. His work has really impacted me. So I think I'd love for him to be on my board of directors today. Um, Louise Hayes, I'm gonna bring her in. As she built a beautiful publishing house that changed the world and that's what I am up about. Like, I wanna do this. I wanna bring Freedom House to be the next Hay House. And so I'm gonna call her in as a board of director. Um, and then I have my spiritual team as well as like Mary Magdalene and um, you get to feel into who do you want on your board of directors that's going to guide, lead your work. So it could be uh, people who've passed, it can be um, people you know who've passed away that you love. We're going to call them all in, those who are here to help lead you, help guide you, help support the mission that's in your soul. We're going to call them in, in through the divine light to come and sit with us, to lead us, to guide us, to direct us, that they may be a crucial part to our work today. And then we're going to prep our bodies to receive. We're going to ask that light will touch our ears, that we will spiritually hear what needs to be heard. That light will touch our third eyes, so we'll have access to all of our spiritual gifts. The light will cleanse our lips, so we speak only what needs to be spoken. My mind is really noisy today. Um, I have a lot a lot a lot to do today and there's just really not enough time so my brain keeps tripping like how am I going to do this all so I'm gonna actually teach you something on if your brain won't be quiet okay we're gonna ask that light will touch our back of the head that all of the noise within our minds the fears the limiting beliefs the chatter the the, the spinning will be cleared out completely and that um, the back of the head will be a place of stability and <sighs> quietness. There we go. That feels good. Much better. Okay. So now we're going to drop in and soften the heart. So I want you to feel as though the, the warmth of the sun is right outside your heart warming your heart warming your heart and we're going to invite the warmth of the sun to break all of the walls down to melt them down to place a veil of light over your heart so that your heart can be open to receive all of the miracles that God has for you receive all of the abundance that God has for you and to receive all the support that God has for you so just really opening up your heart I want you to feel it's kind of trickling down your arms, not your fingertips. Now, there's something that you've been inspired to do recently. There's something that you either received in one of these videos, you received it um, 
throughout the day, there's something that has come to you. You've been inspired and your brain keeps trying to figure it out or trying to fit it in um, or think it's impossible. So I want you to write that down. So we're gonna grab our pen and we're gonna just stay here. I'm gonna play a sound for you while you write down. And if you can't think of what you've been inspired to do, this is when you open palm it and you let the, you just kind of like, I want you to see me from the side, okay? Cause this is a really beautiful visual. So I'm not here, not here, I'm here. Do you see how the light flows from the tip of my hands down straight into my heart like a funnel? We're opening up to receive from God. We're opening up to receive. And so this, this is the motion of like pure open heart, surrender, receiving, okay? All right, so if you can't hear what you've received, then let's receive right now. Let's create a space where you receive. I hold open the portal for you to receive. This is my magic. So when you're here with me, because I believe so deeply, and I believe that's that's my magic, is like I just believe. I believe so deeply in that we receive and that we can receive and we can literally receive at any, any moment and at any time. All that's required is action of acting and faith and then it comes so I hold that open for you you will receive if you haven't received any inspiration lately ask God what is it that you would have me receive right here right now what inspiration is going to activate change in my life in my work in my world in the world in the world what would you have me receive right now so let's start there if you've already received something, write it down. I'm going to just play a sound for you while you receive. more minutes. this inspiration and I want you to just hear the noise that's in your mind like there's just no way I don't know how to do this um, I don't have time to do this this is impossible whatever is there okay now today we're gonna work up into the realm of anything and everything is possible with God I mean, it's just it, right? The Red Sea parted. Manna came from heaven. Like, okay, come on, what do we, like, why? Why do we limit ourselves? Why? Why do we want to lead? Why do we want to figure it out when anything and everything is possible? You have been inspired to do this. It's possible. You wouldn't be inspired if it wasn't possible. So we're going to do... Um, there's like, we're going to place an altar between our heart and God. So imagine that you're sitting right where God sits. Right here is where God sits. Right here is where I sit. And there's an altar between us. And this altar is the place where I surrender things that feel impossible. And I'm asking God to take it from me. Okay. So imagine. Let me feel into a story for you. Let's see if I can find something. Okay, so one time with my five kids, I was pregnant with my fifth child and I was on bed rest. I mean, which is ridiculous. My oldest was 10. I had all these little children and I'm on bed rest. 
And I just remember praying and crying and saying, there's just no way. Like I, I have to clean my house and cook dinners and raise like my little one was two. And I remember feeling so like, this is the most impossible thing. And out of nowhere, this woman that I didn't even know, I had met her like once, she came to my door and she said, I just had the strongest feeling to come and see if you needed help. And I remember just crying saying, yes, like I'm on bed rest. I have these little children my house is a disaster. And she said, I will come every day and I will clean your house. And every day I would lay on that couch, just like a beach well, I was so big. And it was so humbling. And she would just clean my home every day. It, we would just sit and I would talk and she became one of my dearest friends and such a gift and such a witness that what I would have never imagined being the solution was brought to me. And that's how I want you to feel into today that the things you've been inspired to do they feel pretty impossible. I mean, mine are, I'm <laughs> just telling you, <laughs> mine feel like uh, building a, a house by myself. That's, that's the type of inspirations that God gives me where I'm like, you have to be kidding me. How could I even possibly pull this off? And challenge accepted because guess what? If God is asking me to do things that my brain cannot figure out, I have to lean full heart into working with God. And that is the realm of miracles. Full heart of me working with me and my capabilities. So boring. Why would we even play there? No, let's full heart it and work with God and watch the miracles rain down. So I want you to pick up all the noise that says this isn't possible. This isn't going to work. And you're going to put them on the altar and you're going to give them to God and be like, I don't have the time. I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the support, whatever it is put it there. It's not true. Okay. Like, do you think that Moses thought I know how to get these people through the Red Sea and save them from Pharaoh? Like, do you think he thought that? Of course he didn't think that, but he knew that there was going to be a way. And I believe, I love that story. I love Moses. I love the story of Moses, whether you are Christian or not, it doesn't even matter. It's the best story ever, right? Like he took people to the edge of the, of the Red Sea with Pharaoh behind them. Literally it was to a watery death and they, they followed him because he knew that God would create a miracle and the water didn't part right before they got there. It didn't part when they were a mile away and they're like, that's how we're going to get across. It parted when they were neck deep. That water parted when they had so much faith. That's when the water parted. And that's when they were able to be saved. And I just, oh, I love the story. Because so often we have to be neck deep in our faith. For the water is to part. But that's where the magic is. I mean, that's, that's what I live for. I live for watching the, the water part at the last minute. So let's lean in here. Okay. So all the noise that says these things are not possible we're on the altar. We've given them to God and now we're going to call in our team. Okay. Angels guides. This is the deal. I need help finding this person to hold this place to create this thing. <laughs> That's very vague. All right. So I'm going to speak mine out and then maybe that'll be a great example. So I have been shown, one, to create centers of hope, which are uh, actual buildings for people who are suicidal that will guide them with tools and help them live life fully. Uh, and they're going to be beautiful centers. And in, in an effort to help build these centers, I'm going to put on an event with some amazing TEDx speakers who are my friends. And uh, it's going to be an event for uh, suicide prevention and drug abuse. So we have a really big problem here in Idaho with teenagers and drugs and suicide. And I have all the speakers and all the things. I just don't have the bandwidth to put on this type of event. And so it just keeps putting off and putting off and putting off. And, and it's so loud that this has to happen. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I put all my noise like, okay, God, I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the time. I don't have the resources. 
I literally am building a full blown publishing house and um, this body of work that just lights my soul up. I, I can't build this at the same time. Those are the thoughts in my mind. So that's on the altar. All right, God, those are my noise. Now I'm going to call on my angels. Angels, I need you to find me an event planner who, who can pull this event together with so much ease, who is a delight to work with. And then I need to invite somebody in who's going to go and gather uh, resources, finances, donations to be able to pull this event together. Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that, someone just came to my mind. Do you see what happens when we let go of the, the noise in our minds and we start asking our team immediately doors, new doors open. So I'm going to invite my team to find the perfect person who's going to be in charge of receiving donations for this event. And then I'm going to ask that, um, that the perfect location, I have an idea of where I want it. I want it at the Idaho center, but I'm also releasing the attachment to where it is. God, show me where this event's supposed to be. Not my will, right? Like wherever it's supposed to be, I open up to receive that. And then I'm just going to wrap all of this in light and hand it over to God and be like, you have to take care of this. Like I'm willing to take the actions, but you've got to bring in the people. You've got to bring in the resources so that I can bring this vision to creation. And then I, I just wrap it all in love and then I, I commit that every idea that comes to me regarding this creation, everything that comes to me, I take action on. So it's my peace. That's my commitment. I'm going to wrap it in so much love and hand it over. So I want you to do the same. Okay. So what you're going to do right now is you're going to place everything on the altar. So take it all, all the noise, all the bologna and cheese, everything that's not serving you. Why can't you, why is this impossible? Put it on the altar. And then you're going to call in your team and you're going to start asking them to do the things that you need. Okay. Like, what do you need? Who do you need to do this? What support do you need here? What's going to help this inspiration come to life? So you're going to give you a minute to do that. Okay. Call on your team, give them assignments. time just pause the video and then you're gonna take this whole inspiration you're gonna wrap it in light and you're gonna give it over to God all right God you've got this I've called in my team and now I want you to just commit and say I commit to taking every action on all the inspiration that I'm given towards this thing <sighs> two feet in two feet in two feet in all right my friend I want you to take a deep breath in. I want you to feel as though this has already been done. So breathing in. This event has already been created. It's changed lives. It saves lives. It activates hope. That's what I'm feeling. It's already been done for me. What has already been done for you? Just feel into it. It's already been done. It's already here. Okay, staying in that space, I'm going to pour this beautiful honey golden nectar over your body, allowing your nervous system to be at ease, trusting that you do not have to figure this out, that this is just, you are a vessel to receive this. Mm, you are a vessel. You do not have to figure this out. Take one more breath in. It's a lot of beautiful work we just did. So I'm going to drum us out and then we're going to complete. So take a nice breath in, breathing it all the way down to your lower belly. Hold on. That one is feeling a little not as boomy as I want. Let's see how this one sounds today. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, here we go. Deep breath in. <sighs> Breathing in. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Faster, here we go. happening today all right may today be a day of miracles may the impossible become possible may you be wrapped in the deepest love and i will see you tonight